here to the Reebok Stadium on this very special day in the life of our club. Uh, we give a very special welcome too to Jeff and Vivian Lofthouse, uh, son and daughter of Nat and also other members of Nat's family. And of course we give a warm welcome too to former players uh, of our club who have played with Nat over the years. Uh, the statistics really say everything. All we need to say is 503 appearances, 285 goals. And then of course for England, 33 appearances and 30 goals. And of course, the man that he was, the Lion of Vienna. It was to be his 88th birthday this coming Tuesday, and so it is very appropriate that we unveil his statue on this weekend. The final words that Nat spoke were, I've got the ball now, it's a bit worn, but I've got it. And those are the words that are inscribed around the plinth of the statue. Words that are very appropriate because this isn't just a statue, but in a sense a sacred place for the club. Because we have around the statue the opportunity for people to place memorial bricks for their loved ones and also to celebrate other uh, great anniversaries within their lives. Of course, uh, this doesn't happen by chance. And this is an opportunity to say thank you to our architects, Bradshaw Gas and Hull, to create and forest the contractors on site, uh, and also to the fundraising team, to Bolton Wanderers Development Association, and to the patrons and friends of NAT, and the public who have made all this possible. Also, I'd like to say a big thank you today to our sponsors, the Manchester Airport Group and ASUN Solicitors. I'm now going to pass over to our chairman, Phil Gartside, who is going to say a few words ahead of our unveiling. Thank you, Phil. Mr. Mr. Mayor, Jeff and Vivian, Lofters, honoured guests and friends all. I'm very proud today, as chairman, to welcome you all on this special day on the unveiling of the statue of, of, statue of our very own legend at Lofthouse. A football club only exists because of people. Supporters, players, staff, and in our long history of over 136 years, no one can argue that the name of Lofthouse is the name that everyone remembers and relates to Bolton Wanderers. His service at the club spanned over 70 years from apprentice, player, coach, manager, director and president. And I doubt if, if anyone will ever serve Bolton Wanderers for anywhere near the length of time ever again. It's a unique situation in any walk of life let alone football. His time at the club represents over half of the, our long history and, and as long as the club exists, his name will be linked to the name of Bolton Wanderers and it's very fitting to erect a statue in his likeness to continue to remind us and those who follow of the legend that he undoubtedly is and was to the club. I'm very honoured today to pass the responsibility for the unveiling of the statue to Eddie Davis. Eddie's also been a fan for over 60 years and over the past 20 years has been a remarkable benefactor for the club in enabling all the investment that we see in facilities and the success that's been achieved. But first of all, I'd like to pass over to Sean Hedges Quinn, the sculptor, who's looking a bit nervous, <laughs> for us to say a few words. Sean. Um, I am a little bit nervous and I, I go on a lot when I'm nervous, but... Um, um, when this colour comes off today, um, it's, it's going to draw a line over literally the last 18 months of my professional life. And uh, so it is um, a very emotional moment for me. Um, unfortunately, I, I never actually met that, um, but um, I do feel that over the last 18 months I've got to know him probably um, as well as probably many of you do here today. Um, because uh, it was important to me to capture the likeness, of, not just the likeness of that, but I want to capture the very temper of the man, the strength of the man, and the very professions and the loyalty that he held for Bowen Wonders. Um, so the likeness was just a small part, and, um, and, and that is uh, what I've done, or I hope I've done for you today. Um, 
I, I, well, though I am signing for you, I'd like to say a few thank yous because um, uh, a few groups of people really. My first group of people were the people who actually commissioned me to do the statue, um, which was um, which was Phil Mason, who, uh, who well, he was the main man really who did a thankless task of raising the funds for this really, and um, did a very very good job. And then there was John Welsh, I'd also like to thank very much uh, for the raising over there, John. And also to uh, Andrew Dean, who played a big part in raising the funds to make it all possible. Um, it has been um, a big journey for me, and, um, and I could have done it also without uh, my wife and my kids. Um, and. Uh, Basically, they kept me going when I was doing 16 hours a day for the last four months. Uh, when times were getting tough, they'd pot in to my workshop and uh, give me a pot noodle or something like that. Chicken and, chicken and mushrooms, nice. And, um, and really, I can honestly say I spent more time with Nat than I have with my wife and family. So, in the last eight months, I'd like to apologise to those publicly, if that's okay. Um, but, um, that's all I can say now. I, I hope you love the statue. And I am a football fan myself. I'm known, my nickname is Coach back in Suffolk. I, I still play football. I, um, I coach football. And I'm a season ticket holder. So I know how passionate football fans are about statues. So this has been the dream job for me. Football and sculpture. Sculpture and football. So it hasn't been a job. It's been an absolute privilege. And um, thank you all for coming in. I hope you like it. Thank you. Thank you very much, Sean. And now we hand over to uh, our club owner, Eddie Davis, uh, to do the honours for this morning. Right, thank you. I'd just like to say a few words, basically, that it's a great honour for me to uh, be allowed to unveil this statue to uh, somebody who epitomises not only Bolton Wanderers, but the country. It's strong, uh, Capture the likeness of Nat, but also the strength of the man uh, in what is a giant of a statue, uh, suitably located here at the front of the Reebok Stadium. I'm now going to ask Canon Alan Wilsoncroft if he will do a prayer of dedication for this occasion. Uh, Alan shared in the funeral service of Nat a couple of years ago, and it's appropriate that he's here today for this occasion too. Thank you, Alan. pray. Creator and loving God, we give you thanks for the life of your servant, Nat Loftus. We thank you for his excellent footballing skills, his ability, and for the joy, pleasure, and honour that he brought to club, country, town, and the as a permanent thanksgiving, praying that it will inspire this and succeeding generations to achieve sporting greatness with the same measure of loyalty, dedication, courage and service as this great sporting hero. Amen. Thank you very much indeed, Alan. And uh, finally, I'm going to ask if uh, Jeff Lofthouse would come and uh, say a few words uh, on behalf of the family. Thank you. Um, it's hard for me to follow so many uh, thank yous. And uh, the, the reaction to this is superb from myself and my sister. I think Sean's captured the likeness that 
that we saw in Dad. And for those who didn't know Dad when he was younger, I think the likeness of his age is excellent. Don't judge him by his last few years. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody here, just generally, the institution of Baltimore Office. And I say institution because that's what it was to my father. But I particularly like to thank the patrons who put so much time and effort and money into uh, supporting this, to the sponsors and all the people who contributed. But more generally and more wider, to all the fans, this is a marvellous turnout. I mean, what could have been a nice day? <laughs> but it is a good day. It's a beautiful day for us. So again, Thank you to everybody, and the fam from the family, I can honestly say, we are proud, very pleased. Thank you.